Hey everybody, it's Mr. MathBlog here, and this is lesson 11.5. Uh, so this is problem solving. We're going to find the unknown angle measures, and we're going to use what we did in the last lesson. You know, remember how two angles added up to the whole angle right there? Uh, in geometry, it's called the angle addition postulate, so in a high school geometry class. Anyways, there's our common core strand, and our essential question is, how can we use the strategy, draw a diagram, uh, to solve angle measurement problems? So we're going to do bar models. Do you remember bar models? Well, I'll remind you if you don't here. So here we go. Mr. Brooks is cutting a piece of floor tile as shown to the right. He needs tiles with 45 degree angles to make a design. So after he makes this cut right here, this red cut right here, what is the angle measure of the part left over? Okay, so he makes this 45 degree angle right there. What is the measure of this angle right here? So can Mr. Brooks use both pieces in the design? Well, remember, he needs 45 degree angles all the time. So, well, I can see there's a little right angle right here. Remember, right angles are 90 degrees right there. And so he made this little 45 degree angle. So we're going to figure out the rest of the angle right there. All right, so we're going to use the graphic organizer to solve this problem. So what do we need to find? Well, we need to find the measure of the angle of the, of the part left over. So that's this angle right here. So the measure of angle A, B, D. Okay, notice how B is always in the middle. The vertex is always in the middle right here. Okay, we could have also said D, B, A if you wanted to. Okay, all right. And then, so what information are we going to use? Well, we're going to use the fact that... Um, uh, we, we know two angles right here. Since we have this right angle right here, then this angle right here, the measure of angle ABC, is equal to 90 degrees because that's a right angle right there. And we're also going to use the measure that this angle, um, 45 degrees, represents the measure of angle CBD right there. Okay? All right, so. Uh, how can we use this information? Well, we can draw a bar model to use the information to find the unknown angle measures or the measure of angle ABD, which is this angle right here. Okay, let's go ahead and do a bar model here. So there's a bar model, and we can write an equation to solve this problem right here. Okay, so remember from the last lesson, this angle plus this angle right here equals the entire angle right here. So this part plus this part equals the whole part right there. Okay, so that's what this says. So the 45 plus the x, the 45 plus the x equals the entire angle, which is a right angle, so it equals 90. So this one plus this one equals 90 right there. Well, let's, let's go ahead and put that down there. So the measure of angle ABD, which is right up there, plus the measure of angle CBD equals the whole angle, which is angle ABC, okay? So let's go ahead and we're looking for this angle right here. So this is going to be X right here. And we know this angle right here is this 45, and then the whole angle is going to be 90 right there, okay? So let's go ahead and put those numbers in. And then so what number plus 45 equals 90? Okay, well, if you if you we do our arithmetic right, 45 plus 45 equals 90. So x has to be 45 right there. Okay, so the measure of angle ABD is then going to be 45 degrees. Okay, now remember it's asking the question asks can he use both pieces? So since both tiles measure 45 degrees, this is 45, this is 45. Mr. Brooks can use this piece also because he needs them to be 45 degrees right there. All right, what other equation could we write to solve that problem and explain? Okay, well, what we could have done, instead of adding and figure out what added together, what we could have done is taken the whole angle, 90, and subtracted uh, this angle right here, 45. And this would be the leftover right here. So x would be the leftover from 90 minus 45. So we can subtract uh, this angle, CBD, right here from the big angle, ABC, right here. And that'll give us the leftover piece right there, okay? Nice and easy, right? All right, let's try one more, you guys. Hafez is building a frame for a garden, but the boards he has are too short, so he must join two boards together um, uh, to build one side as shown. So imagine he has this big garden right here, and he has these boards he's going to use for the borders right here, but they're too short, so he's going to He's going to um, nail these two pieces together right here. So at what angle did he cut this first board right here? So we're looking for this angle right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, read the problem. So what do we need to find? Well, we need to find what's this angle measure right here, angle A, B, C. So we need to find the angle of measure. Now this little M right here just means the measure of angle A, B, D. 
So the measure is just how open, how wide it is. The measure of angle A, B, D. We need to find out that angle measurement right there. Okay, so what information are we going to use? Well, we can use the fact that we have a straight angle right here. Straight angles are 180, so the measure of angle A, B, C is a straight angle, so that's 180. And the measure of angle um, uh, D, B, C. D, B, C is this angle. This is 55 degrees right there. So we can use that piece of information to help solve the problem. So how are we going to use this information? We can draw another bar model to find uh, the measure of angle A, B, D, which is what we're looking for. So we'll do that over here. And then we can write an equation to solve the problem. So here's a bar model right here. Okay, so um, basically it's going to be this 55 plus how much more is equal to the whole straight angle, which is 180 right here. Okay, now this is an obtuse angle. Okay, see how it's opened up more than 90? So this is obtuse. 55 is acute, so this obtuse angle is definitely bigger than this acute angle. So that's why X is in the bigger portion of this whole bar model right here and so the 55 is over here okay so we can go uh, this piece plus this piece equals the 180 okay or we can also subtract so the measure of angle ABD is equal to uh, the whole angle so this measure right here the measure of angle ABD is going to equal the entire angle ABC which is 180 so 180 goes right here and if we subtract off this 55 right here Okay, so we'll come, remember ABD is going to represent our X right there. There's our X, so that's going to be the measure of angle ABD. So we'll put X here, we'll put 180 here, and we'll put the 55 right here. So X will equal 180 minus 55, and if we subtract that uh, correctly, we get 125. Okay, so the measure of angle ABD is 125 degrees right there. So let's answer the question. Hafez was cutting, so Hafez cut the first board at a 125 degree angle. Alright, so uh, how can we check this answer to, uh, to the problem right here? Well, what we can do is, if this is 125 degrees, we can add those two angles together and see if they add up to one excuse me, to 180 right there. So if this is 125 and 55, then if we just add those together, then it adds up to 180, and it does here. So it does check out to be uh, correct on that. Hey, if you get a chance, you guys, would you press like and or subscribe? That would help encourage me to keep making these videos. All right, you guys, take care. Hope you're doing great.